Hello everyone and welcome to this video of Echo Ambience Creator. In this video I'll be talking about some of the complexities of Echo, uh, some of the features, how they work, and so on and so forth. This is not aimed at a certain uh, feature, this is really me just chatting about some of the things that Echo has uh, and how it works. Uh, things that will help you in your workflow tremendously. So it's good to watch this video for, you know, tips, general knowledge, uh, and all that good stuff. So let's start with the first thing. When you have a bunch of audios, the first thing you'll notice is there is a play button. There are play buttons. Uh, the first thing you might think is you can play the audios simultaneously, each audio block simultaneously. That is not correct. You can only play one at a time. So for example, I'm going to, uh, to play the siren. Now if I play on wind light howl, you see the siren got stopped, play is back on again, and the wind is the one that's playing right now. Again. Again. So on and so forth. So you can only use the play button to play one audio. So how is this useful? Uh, because if your ambience consists of several audios, you might be like, oh, so what was this again? Uh, how does it exactly sound like? So you can press play, you can play with the, uh, with the properties, so on and so forth. Now, if you want to play all of the audios, as I have mentioned in the previous video, you can simply uh, press on test ambience. All of the audios will play. Second thing you should know is that the preview, we all know the preview by now, uh, is previewing the audio you're about to include before actually including it. So let's uh, bridge chirping for example. Yeah. If you play the game, this is the actual demo that comes with the package by the way. So now the game has been played and the ambience is playing. If we press on preview, it does not work. So the preview button does not work uh, when the game is played. Uh, so yeah, take care about this. It only works when the game uh, is off in editor time. Now, to the most important part, rollback changes. Before actually explaining what rollback changes does, I'll just simply show you and I'm pretty sure you'll get the idea right away. So, I'm going to play the game. Remember, rollback changes is set to true. I'm going to start the game. Wind Light Howl. Its volume is at 0 0.65. I'm going to return it, turn it down to 0. Right? And you're playing the game and so on and so forth. And then when you stop the game, the value is back to normal. So this is what Rollback Changes does. It returns the profile's data back to what it was before the game started. This is what it does. And it doesn't only... Uh, it's not only limited to properties, let me show you, right? It's not only limited to properties, I can actually remove the audio itself. Remove. When the game is done, the audio is back. Rolling back changes also works when swapping uh, profiles. So let's give another example. Let's start the game. I'm actually going to... Uh, to mess this one up. The volume is down at zero and I'm then actually going to remove it. Right, I'm going to choose another profile for us at night. Yeah, and then back to city at night. Light Howl is back with its correct volume uh, value which is 0 0.65. This also works with uh, APIs, with the uh, public methods. So right here I've got this uh, method that I wrote which is going to remove the last audio which is wind light howl. So let me uh, add it, echo test. I'm just going to drag and drop this here. This is going to remove the last audio which is light howl when I press P as you can see. Input get key down key code dot P. So when I press P light howl is going to get removed. There you go, it got removed. Now when I turn off the game, it returns back. Now let's see some uh, examples when rollback changes is actually set to false. Right? Uh, we're going to use Light Howl again. Uh, the volume is at 0 0.65. I'm going to turn it down to 0. Now when I stop the game, 
as is the data is now persistent it's now zero so if you have this set to off be careful uh, when you're changing the data uh, when the game is played